PV is a technology that is ready. The Department of Energy has a long history in supporting technological advances in photovoltaics and maintaining U.S. leadership in this area. In fact, over the past 35 years, over one half of the world records for photovoltaic solar cell efficiency have been supported in full or in part by funds from the Department of Energy. Sunshine Initiative focused everyone on a goal. Our goal was roughly six cents a kilowatt hour. That is the levelized cost of electricity. I think most people are convinced we're going to hit that goal probably before 2020, which was our ultimate target. And now we're talking about beyond Sunshine. What are we going to do next? The PV program invests roughly two-thirds of its funds in the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. This is our commitment to a sustained high-impact research program in photovoltaics. We are engaged in research on new cells, reliability of commercially relevant modules and cells today, and characterization of materials and devices that go into current and potentially future cells. The partnership between the national labs, DOE, many universities, and the private sector has been, has been critical. Industry expertise can add a lot of context and important and valuable information that academic researchers and national lab folks may not have, coupled with the research resources that are available in the national labs. That's what most of us in the PV community are focused on enabling PV to really power most of our electricity needs. I think it's a really interesting technology. There's always new advances, new science, new physics, and new engineering problems to be addressed. For those of us that really want to see our economies maintained, our societies continue to progress, it is a critical part of the step we have to take to a, to a low carbon future.